Back with you here on the Morning Brew Friday edition. Our next guest is uh, has gained quite a reputation as a premier photographer here in the Southwest and certainly in our community. Fernando Delgado is with us here at the table, and and my uh, co-host here is very excited. Yes, I'm a big fan yeah. of yours, and I I have so much love and respect for the work that you that you present. Uh, your manner of photographing people is very just special and beautiful. Well, thank you. I can leave now, I guess. Right? Yeah, you yeah. can go. Yeah. <laughs> your, yeah. your work is How's done. How's that feel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a breakfast burrito? <laughs> That's great. I, no, but thank you so much. It's great being here. And, and uh, this is my second time on the morning brew. But you didn't get to meet the great Larry Aarons, oh, and no. so we had to have you so, back. Yeah. Well, I did such welcome a, back, Larry. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm thank just you. a pathetic substitute for Larry. When he's out of oh. town, I was driving the bus straight into the curb. <laughs> and I uh, definitely wanted Larry to have the opportunity to meet you. And Your background, uh, you, you went to design school at Parsons, and uh, I, I'd like to know a little bit more about how you came to be here. Well, I'm an expat from New York, uh, so and I did. I went to, to school in Manhattan, uh, first Cooper Union for two years, and then to Parsons School of Design. And that's uh, where those were my studies in uh, illustration, up until my senior year, where uh, I had this eclipse with one of my instructors who said, you think photographically, so why are you illustrating? So mm. ah, I did it. So you were an artist illustrator? Yes, indeed. You still dabble in that at all? Or? No, no, that takes yeah. a lot of time. Uh -huh. I'd rather spend that behind the camera, at least. But everything that you, were, that you learned, all that commercial sensibility that you, that you got from that time, has that helped you? It, it does. You know, you find that not only an illustration, uh, to Larry's point, but also the advertising background. You find out right. all these weird dots connect somehow uh -huh. <laughs> later on in life. So that's an important component of uh, what I do. And so I, I am able to get a lot you know, from, uh, you know, from a sitter in a short time, in this case with the portraits, because you've been trained to do that, and yes. you've been trained to do that, you know, sort of, on, you know, running uh, constantly in the advertising world. So that's part of the benefit of that. So Local IQ uh, magazine uh, invited you yes. to do a, a portrait series uh, yes. of, of different people in town, and I, I'm assuming we have some of those. I so believe you do. Yes. Yeah. Let's I have see a look. I see one of them. Let's see if one of them queued up, ready to look go. at her. Uh, this is Alma Rosa Bañuelos, who is the uh, director of the LGBT Resource Center at UNM. Ah. Okay. And she is a towering figure, uh, you know, among not only the student body but the the you know gay, lesbian, transgender community at large. So I think it's okay. It Beautiful. was. Uh, uh, I mean. There wasn't much we had to do with her. She's just a presence to, you know, to begin with. Wonderful. And look at how her light just shines and emanates, and it makes you, it calls you in. It pulls you in. Well, I, you know, initially I wanted to do, uh, in, in her TED Talk uh, video, she talked about riding her bike. She said, oh, God, I want her bike in the studio. But somehow we couldn't make that happen. But then I saw the TED Talk videos. I said, OK, we're actually recreating that scene. I thought she was even wearing the dress well, that she wore that day. Let's take a look at another one in this series. Kenny Chavez, who's a local artist and also manages Mas y Mas, the store on Central. Uh -huh. And he works with uh, recycled art, uh, mainly. But this man is multi-talented. Mm. This is one of his pieces. So all of this is found objects, and uh, he's able to weave uh, this into beautiful constructions, whether it's glass, tin, you have it, he does it. Let's take a look at another one. This is fascinating. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Most of us will know Roberto Apichafogo, who is the, uh, the founder of the Lesbian uh, and Gay and LGBT uh, Film Festival. Uh -huh which is now uh, on this, uh, in 2003, so I guess it's the 11th year uh, now this Man. coming year. And the over. film reel is his halo. <laughs> it is. He's the patron saint of film. Yes. <laughs> see that. So super cool. <laughs> um, look at this. 
I think uh, this is Christian Dimery, who is an absolute character, and and for me it was uh, that it was it was really kind of the most playful of all the portraits, where it looks rather painful what he's doing, but it's actually if you turn the picture upside down, that's a, that's actually how we took it. <laughs> so it was painless for him, but the effect is total photographic ingenuity. See, it's not going to hurt you when you go get your portrait made, yeah, Larry. I'm, I'm already, <laughs> I really want I'm the Nando to, to, to photograph Larry Aarons, you yeah. know, because I'd like, I think that you have such a bright inner light, and, oh, well, and you really you, do. Andrew. You really, thank really you. do. And that's why everybody loves, loves you so much, and you're so wow. beloved. And I think if there's one person that could capture that, it would be this gentleman. Here. Well, both of you do, but I have my, my eye on this one. What? You know, Look at on, yeah. on, a, on an what upcoming ever. project. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's got, got something mm -hmm. in mind for you. I think we have one more to look at here. Uh, this is yeah. Leslie Davis, and uh, Leslie is actually a community activist, and uh, she, well, she's multi-talented in, in terms of, uh, she works with a group called the Rescue Social Group, and they actually market to the youth segment and, uh, and it's for proactive policy and social change. So these are people that have been in the community doing what they're doing for yes. a long time and things have changed tremendously in New Mexico and in the nation at large, you know, and even this year. Uh, but these people have been at it all along. So we're kind of riding on their shoulders you know, in, in many respects. You have a very interesting perspective. That's all I can mm -hmm. say is I, I'm very intrigued by what you do. And it would be fun to get in the studio and see what he does. If you're ready to do a headstand anytime. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Obviously, we can make that happen. <laughs> yes, we no, can. Tell him Just what he's turn it do around. with you. Uh, oh, I'm, I have no idea. But I'm willing to do anything for Fernando, anything, lo que sea. What a great chance yeah. to careful be what you I know, careful I know. what you wish and for. And he has a Steinway, and he invited me to come play his piano. Oh, we'll I know. And we Larry found, has we one found too. it's a Facebook thing. We found out we have this music thing in common. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's so typical of Albuquerque. Everybody has a day job, and then everybody has some hidden talent that they are too afraid <laughs> to right. reveal. That's so true. <laughs> What a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you, sir. And, Thank you so uh, I'm looking forward to more, uh, seeing more of your work. I really am. Thank you so much. Uh, Fernando Delgado, photographer, with us today on uh, The Morning Group. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the Friday show rolls on in just a second. We'll be back with more in just a minute. Flamenco, next. Quédese con nosotros. No se vaya.